Hi everybody, this is Penelope or Penapple and I am doing a legacy challenge but there's a twist. It's a wishing well legacy challenge so there we go. <laughs> there's the wishing well. Um, so what I'm going to be doing with the wishing well is my sim has to use the wishing well a certain number of times per week and wish for a certain number of things for a specific thing. So I've decided that um, Saturdays are going to be you wish for simoleons, Sunday is you wish for skills, and um, Monday is happiness. So those are the three ones that are set, but Wednesday is wild card Wednesday. So on Wednesday, you can I'm going to either have her wish for romance, a child, grades, well she can't wish for grades because she's a young adult, um, promotion, youth. Um, and if she were a ghost, maybe life, but because all of those are, you have to meet certain requirements to have those. Like if she's already in a relationship, she can't wish for romance, I think. And like, obviously, you know, if there's more than seven members of the household, she can't wish for a child. So I have a special little dice <laughs> that I made. Um, so I'll be using that on Wednesdays to pick it out. So yeah, we are now going to go into cast so I can show you who we have. Me boon garage. Yes, hello to you too. <laughs> um, this is Margot Everlasting. I decided Everlasting is going to be the last name for this legacy challenge. Um, she is a business savvy, so I imagine her as being a young businesswoman. So she wants to be fabulously wealthy, you know, sex successful career. Um, so she's self-assured, she's creative, and she's outgoing. So I figured those are all good traits for her. Um, yeah. So seeing as her as like a businesswoman, this is her outfit for every day. She also has this cute little number, a little bit less formal. This is her evening wear, also pretty simple. Uh, athletic wear and sleepwear. I love putting the shirt on for sleepwear. And this is her party dress and I also am in love with just, I mean, look at the back of it. And then some suit. So yeah, pretty much that's her. Okay, so I have her, I gave her one simoleon and then this is the only piece of furniture that she owns, nothing else. Um, so she brought this whole lot and then I took away some money after I bought this to get down to one simoleon. So that's part of the legacy challenge. So I figured, let's see, Sunday. So Sundays is skill. So let's see how that works. Does she have to have a skill? No, she's good. So to make a wish, it costs one simoleon and you can also make offerings, which she obviously can't afford right now, which make it less likely that bad things are going to happen and more likely that good things happen. So when she gets a little bit more money, hopefully good things will happen. <laughs> I'm hoping she doesn't die just like randomly in the middle before I introduce any other sims. So <laughs> here's hoping. But anyways, Sunday skills. Let's go. Let's watch you do this. Where are you? There you go. Yes, let's run. Okay, very first time. Corbis. Oh, oh, looks good. Okay. What skill did you get? Oh, that's cool. Chill. Gardening. I actually wasn't in that interested in her gardening. Oh. See, that's bad. <laughs> that, that, I think, means that the next thing is more likely to be bad. So... <laughs> Hopefully we can raise a bit more money so she doesn't die. Um, but yeah, I figure since she's a businesswoman, she wouldn't be that into gardening. Um, I think, but I will have her scavenge. I don't know. We'll see. But first things first, let's get her a job. So. Okay, so business, obviously. Um, so, daily tasks, fill out reports, that requires a computer, which we do not have. 
So I'm not going to try and buy a computer right now. What I'm going to try and do is find some stuff for her to harvest. You know what? Don't do that. What we're going to do is travel. We are going to go to a lot that actually has a computer so we could get her work going. Also to avoid the neighbors coming because I have better things to do. <laughs> um, I actually kind of hate it and if you cancel out the activity too soon the neighbors actually get mad at you. So let's try and avoid that. So we'll have her come to this area and search for stuff and then use the computer. Yep, and then we can get our toilet. Although they do have bushes, I have all the expansion packs and game packs. So she can go pee in a bush. She can also sleep in a bush, but sleep in in the same bush that you've been defecating in is pretty go gross. I mean, I feel like we'd need a dedicated sleeping bush and a dedicated <laughs> peeing bush. <laughs> Um, why can't I find any collectibles? I can usually hunt them out, no problem. Um, no? Um, well, let's just figure out our computer situation. Do they even have computers here? Ah, they do. Okay, go steal this computer. Um, let's fill out your, port your reports. Go. Go. Ooh, look at that lady's blue hair. She's stylish. Wait, where'd you go? Let us, oh, not a rude, friendly introduction, because she looks like she knows how to party. Oh, yeah. Oh, Cardool. So, yeah, go on, Margo. Say hello <laughs> to your new best friend. It's completely decided. Um, so Anna de Lopa, the weep of bar. So soon. <laughs> so yeah, she just saw fell out reports. I know it Long makes the report slower, and but <laughs> yeah, you know, it is what it is. Ah. No, oh, okay, that's nice. She's trying to read. She's trying to be on the computer, and they're both holding. Oh, they're not holding, talking anymore. Never mind. Um. Oh my God, these reports take forever. This is boring. Wow. Oh. I guess I can't do any more reports. Okay. So let us, haha. -ha. I don't know why I wasn't seeing this before. Maybe they didn't spawn in yet. Um, Cause I just started the game. But let's get her looking around for some stuff. And see what we can find. Okay. Oh, she's still working on it? Oh my god. I hate it when the Sims glitches out. Hello, let's zoom in on her. Hunchback. Oh my god, that's me. At the desk. It's hunchback of Notre Dame. I guess she can. I thought that. I don't know. I don't know what I thought. Okay. Yeah, go get it. Yeah. What's wrong? Wow, she looks perky. Perfect. Find the things. Get the things. Yes. Ooh, capsule. Running around, getting the things. Okay, let us see what we have gotten. You go to the bathroom while I'm checking these things out. Oh, oh my god. You are not my brightest thing ever. Okay, here we go. Go here. Let's see, let's just sell these. It's usually best. There we go. We are already making some money, which makes her happy. 
because that's part of her wants. I'm thinking that when I get her a partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, I'm not sure yet, um, I will probably have them change their aspiration to um, grilled cheese because I haven't actually done that yet. So that's pretty exciting. So yeah. Oh my god. It's really ominous when Sims just stand still for really long periods of time. It freaks me out. But yeah, let's get her... Actually, I found it's faster if you just travel to your home. Uh, yeah. Why not, Connie? Come with us. Don't talk to him. It's not worth your time. And get back to Windenburg. You know, I always wonder where all these places are in relation to each other in the sim world and why it takes an equal amount of time to get to another world as it does to jump to like this lot. Also, they must need boats or airplanes, I guess. I guess they're hopping all over the place in their little airplanes. Like that isn't terribly expensive and bad for the environment. But, you know, hi Connie. You're already wearing a different eyebrow. Eyebrow. You're already wearing a different eyebrow. I was taken in by the eyebrows, just like Vixella does. So while we are here, let's see what the basics 160 can buy us. I don't have high hopes. Bathroom? No. <laughs> she can't even afford a toilet. No beds. Oh my god. Um, maybe a bench. Bench. We could afford her a bench. I feel like that'd be a waste of money. Yeah. Let's just wait. We'll have her go pee in the bush. I think it's like over there. But why don't you describe your new idea to your new friend? What's her name? Steve. Oh yeah, Connie. Why are you facing her? Move! <laughs> oh, arm, arm through the body. <sighs> mm. Share photos, non-existent photos that you don't have. <gasps> I love ducks. What's the joke, I wonder? Quack, quack, I'm a duck. Probably not. Oh, well, she laughed at it, so... <laughs> Zombo Skiba, so yeah, Zuba Tube, it's good to have friends. Cross fat office romances. We haven't even been to the office yet. Um, crazy speed. Ask that career. What is your career? I love to find out by the other sims that the game has randomly generated. Oh, oh, that makes sense. Because she was at the library. That's adorable. So I wonder if I put her into my household, if she would still work at the library. Aww, she's adorable. Yeah, but when does she work tomorrow? Nine. Okay. So while they're talking, I am going to look for stuff for her to pick up. You know, before recording, I felt like I never had trouble finding anything, but once the mic is on, yo, <laughs> you start saying weird things like, yo. <laughs> so yeah, we'll have her look for frogs. Ugh, I hate how when you just start the game, it has nothing to offer you when it comes to plants. I guess you could- oh, oh, I thought it was mushroom. Oh, I guess our friend left. That's fine. We need to at least get a basic bed. Hopefully our first work day. Ooh, what is this congregation? This is such an awkward- if I came upon this, I'd be very confused. <laughs> Eat my food, do the push-ups. Um, man, I wish it had been 
um, Saturday instead of Sunday. That way I could have just wished for simoleons right off the bat. But, you know, you know. Ooh, here's another one. Go get it. Ooh, I wonder if she'll find an Easter egg. That'd be nice. I have updated my game so she can find those. Well, if she's lucky enough. Okay. She looks kind of really ridiculous in her little business outfit. Oh, bye. See ya. <laughs> I didn't see that. Ooh, that one was a fossil rock. So let's see. Just sell the stuff quick. There we go. Oh, let's go. Let's get her a bed. Perfect. Um, we will get her a Teen Dreams single bed. Well, actually, no. This one's cheaper and it has stress relief. Discomfort relief, stress relief. Mm, cheaper. Oh, yellow. What's her outfit? She'll just camp out. With this, oh, look, he's happier now. <laughs> with this creepy ass thing looking over her. Um, food. Um, let's see. Okay, so to get her food, why can't I travel? Oh, I tried to avoid the neighbors, and they've come anyways. Why don't you get back? Here. Go greet your neighbors. <laughs> Where are they? This is really awkward. Do they not have neighbors? Oh no. We'll find them. Oh, oh, I guess we're not wanted here. See, I told you, I told you they get mad if you cancel it. But I don't know where you are, bro. So, yeah. But let's travel by ourselves this time and get her some food. Okay. Please, please, please. Whoa. Whoa. I don't know what happened there, but it was terrifying. This is a park with no grills. Oh, my God. Well, that's annoying. Oh, wait. Oh, it looked like they were dancing. Aww. Why don't you go, oh my god, introduce yourself to this old guy and join this game. <laughs> this paint splattered top. Oh, 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 I see how it is. Whoa, you have a lot going on, sir. Oh, look, she's so friendly to everybody. I guess she is outgoing, so that's nice. Okay, right, now, go home. We'll travel back home and see if we can buy her a little cooler. Oh, we don't have enough. Well, she will just have to go hungry <laughs> and eat at work for now. So why don't you just go to sleep, you poor, poor creature. We'll watch over you while she sleeps so I will cut to the morning and send her off to work whoa sunbeams <laughs> that's really pretty Ooh, she has to pee too let's go find the bush the bush I've been talking about all episode I know you're somewhere aha fertilize <laughs> I love how they have the squatting. Ooh, goodness. What did you do to that bush? Oh my gosh. Um, work in two hours. What is happening over here? Why are you glowing? Oh, it's that grow fruit tree. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I wonder... No, you can't harvest anything yet, because maybe she could eat that. I feel so bad for her. She's just like 
I'm so hungry. Um, but no, she can't, and so I'm just gonna have her uh, placate herself by playing games until it is time for her to go to work. Okay guys, so I am going to wrap up the this part here, and I will be uploading part two soonish, I'm not quite sure. Um, and yeah, we will see how she does at work when she comes back. Oh, well, let's just do this quickly. Um, Margaret reaches into her desk drawer to get her stapler, only to discover that someone has encased it in jelly. Oh, God. Um, will Margaret retaliate with her own prank or ignore it and go find another stapler? Uh, we're new at work, so let's just ignore it. Um, Margot doesn't have time for this nonsense. Uh, so yeah, I think she's good. So thanks everybody for watching. Um, if you liked it, feel free to leave a like or even follow me. That'd be great. I will see you guys next time. Bye.